What's going on guys? It's Ben Heat Gaming here. And just to get some like just really just kind of boring stuff out of the way, uh my voice may like just cut out or just be something stupid like that because I'm in a garage recording this because it's a quiet place where there's no interruptions and it's quiet out here, but it is kind of cold. So if you hear my voice just kind of mess up in a sentence, then that's why. Also, uh, the screen recorder, it might mess up because I'm recording like 1080p max settings, everything like that, cranked all the way up. I'll go in more in depth. I'll go more in depth ugh, cold. later on the screen recorder at the end of the video. But for right now, let's just talk about this ROM. So the first thing is this really is made for the HDX. I mean, it's crazy. I seriously never thought Cyanogen Mod would be on this thing. But sure enough, you go down to About Tablet, and there it is right there. Kindle Fire HDX. This is the 7-inch model. Now, this is Cyanogen Mod version uh, 11, for sure. Unofficial, of course. Not officially supported, so you won't find this on CyanogenMod.com. It'll be on the XDA form Kindle Fire HDX, of course. And yeah, that's pretty cool. The nav bar, so you can go full screen now, which is amazing for gaming. I had this problem like a long time ago. Yeah, so get some bugs out of the way as well. Before we go more in depth, there are two bugs that the developer and only I know of. The Bluetooth, it won't work at all. And some super duper just minor thing is the Wi-Fi. If you turn it off and reboot, or like the first time you boot in, the Wi-Fi won't work, turn it on and then just reboot. And it will work flawlessly. And then you'll never have to worry about it. But if you turn it off, then reboot, then you'll just have to turn it back on, then reboot. Which isn't a problem because it boots up so fast and it's just so good. Now, this is the Wi-Fi variant. So mobile networks, it's just in there for whatever reason. Um, yeah, just don't need to worry about it. Just ignore it. It's not important. So all these things work. Lock screen themes, themes, status bar, notification drawer. They all work. I mean, it's amazing. Like, it. sorry for saying like too much. It's just, can't think of anything right now. But yeah, all this stuff down here, it's pretty awesome. So we do have an overclocked kernel on here. And it was an add-on. It was not, uh, well, in the ROM itself. It was another thing I also installed right when I installed the ROM. And you go to About Tablet, and I can show you here. Actually, no, not About Tablet. In Performance. And go to Processor, Maximum CPU, 234 megahertz instead of 200 and, yeah. Whatever that is. I don't care. But... I've been having a little bit of problems with it. He mentioned some problems, but it's super stable. doesn't really mess with anything. doesn't fix anything. It's just overclock, boom, there if you want it. It works. I have gotten it to work, but it's just kind of iffy. Like, this can't, like, okay, fine. Watch. You set it, and then you set it, and then it just resets itself. You can just get it app from the app store, and then just do it. And it will work. I don't know what's wrong with this. I guess this is a bug, but this is really the only one I've found. You got super user, developer options, all that good stuff. So that's the settings app. Now, to get on with the speed of this thing. This thing, I think, is on speed right now. I mean, it's crazy fast. I'm recording, you know, maximum settings. On my end, anyways, uh, it's not messing up at all. It's super buttery smooth, just like it wasn't recording. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. People who want to record Minecraft footage or Asphalt 8 or footage or Clash of Clans, I don't know why you would want to record Clash of Clans. You can. Maximum 1080p, you won't have any problems. Um, although, when you are moving around a lot, and I'll show this right now, you'll, you'll see some bugs. Like, like, 
and I'll go into some random world that I don't know. So, I don't know if the recording is messing up right now, but I move around. It's fine for me, but your video might look kind of like, eh, it might not look very good. That's just the nature of it. You can't record Max 1080p beta science or mod without some problems. I really don't think that's a problem with science or mod, though. It's just crazy high resolution just recording. It's, it, that's it. It's just not possible to get any better. So it's just messing up a little bit. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, camera app is super improved. I don't even know how the person did it. It is amazing. Now, I'm going to open up Chrome Beta, and if it still kept my progress, I should be on the form. Right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the twerp recovery. This is for Apollo. Um, where's the Thor one? Yeah, here it is. Oh, there's a new version out. <laughs> I have the 10 one. But you get that, and then you install... Where is it? Cyanogen mod 11. There it is, unofficial Thor. You install that, and then where is that custom kernel? Where is it? Oh, oh my gosh, where is it? Overclock th kernel for Thor. So yeah, I have touches enabled just so I can like point these things out. So yeah, you just do those three things, you follow the instructions, and you can downgrade and install it. No boot looter problems. If you can get back to 3.10 uh, or whatever, then you can install this. Uh, no matter how you do it, if you get to stock 3.10 and get the recovery on there, you can install this amazing ROM. I mean, it's awesome. Really, it is. Take my word for it, guys. And if you if you mess up, like you can't boot or something, the uh, recovery is power button and up when you boot it up. And you'll get if twerp recovery is installed, twerp recovery, then you can get to it. Ugh, what the heck? Okay. Now, uh, in a post, he said that it is safe strap compatible now. I uninstalled safe strap. And it then installed it, which is kind of iffy. Like, you know, it could be in big trouble. But I did that. I seriously don't quite know what I did myself to get this. I downgraded using uh, the rollback images. And then I got my stock 3.10 image I had, like, on a computer or downloaded somewhere. I just Googled it, downloaded it. I got that on here. And then I installed Twerp. And then I rebooted. I installed the ROM once. It it crashed, I installed it again, it wouldn't boot up, and then like I wiped recovery, I didn't, like I just restored it, factory restored it, I didn't do anything else, didn't wipe Dalvik, ca Dalvik cache, and I just installed it again, and it worked. Got the Cyanogen mod boot logo, and I was like, yeah. So, there we go. This seems like it should be the end of the video, so it is, so I'm gonna talk about the screen recording a little more in depth and just a little bit about my channel so you can just exit out of the video right now really that's all there is to show i mean like it's signage mod it's full featured everything works except bluetooth and that little wi-fi bug and maybe some performance issues if you have the custom kernel but yeah it's pretty awesome and you can do whatever you want so see you guys later i hope this might have helped you out Remember, you can downgrade and install this. Don't worry about bootloader compatibility problems or anything like that. You just downgrade it, 3.10 or whatever, and you can get it. You can get it on the 7-inch Kindle Fire, not the 8.9. The 8.9 has not come out. So I'll see you guys later. All right, for those of you who stayed, uh, this is a little bit about my channel, just very brief. So Ben Heat Gaming, why aren't I gaming right now? Well, because my Kindle was on stock and it was crappy okay it, it you know you know what it is no root for it just super laggy <sighs> amazon Ugh. and then i installed the uh, jelly bean rom and it just would not work at all it was laggy it was a better definitely than the amazon one but if you're going to go with that over this i would say not to so that's why i'm not recording right now and i have a pc but it's broken. I just ordered new parts for it and stuff, and so that should be coming soon. Yeah.
it's upgraded parts too, so I'll you know I'll get some Minecraft in there, some War Thunder, maybe other games. You know, what do you guys want to see? Leave in the comments. Leave in the comments if you want to play games with me or some. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just new channel. It's starting up. It's gonna be a while before it gets full into action. You know. Hey, what do you guys want to see? I want to hear that. But this is me signing out. It's been a good time reviewing this ROM because it is amazing. And at the end of this video, you're going to see the power off animation, which is amazing as well. So I'll see you guys later. Hope this helped you in some sort of way or at least gave you an idea that there was signage mod or a custom ROM available for the HDX. And this is the time now to install the custom recovery and unlocked unlock your bootloader so i'll see you guys later enjoy this awesome screen off animation and the description might be kind of poopy so goodbye guys